everybody, and welcome to Indie Corner TV. I'm your host, Jonathan Moody, and I'm here with... Bob Camp. Bob Camp, the cre co-creator of... Ren and Steppy. All right, now I have to ask, because, I mean, that, my, my childhood was kind of, like, weird because of that movie. You know, everybody that comes to that show. What, how did you, uh, you know, co-create it with John Kay? Uh, it was, it was, a. Uh, it was, it wasn't, we weren't setting out to make Ren and Stimpy. Uh, John and a guy named Carl Masek pitched uh, a show concept to Nickelodeon. And there were a couple of minor characters, a dog and a cat, and they said, oh, we like the dog and the cat, make a show about them. So we made up a show about Ren and Stimpy. And it's not, it's not situationally based, it's character based. It's based on the personalities and their character dynamics. I was re-watching it just so, you know, before I interviewed you, and before I was going to interview you, um, and... Uh, oh, goofing off, huh? Yeah, I, I, I love it. I love it. Uh, and the thing was, uh, I watched the episode where, like, I guess uh, uh, Stimpy lost his skin or something or whatever. Oh, and uh, a yard too far, yard. where they're trying to get the plate of hog jowls off the windowsill and there's a baboon in the yard. Like, how do you... Think of things like that. Okay, that cartoon was sort of a, a milestone cartoon in the series because uh, uh, at the big, at sort of into season one, we were falling behind schedule, and John had a hard time letting go of any shows, and so we were over budget, behind schedule, and I said, "Look, John, let me direct the cartoons, some cartoons now, and I'll do Hanna Barbera cartoons," uh, and I used the Hanna Barbera system of uh, doing cartoons quick and cheap and uh, sort of sticking to their model. And uh, I basically did a Huckleberry Hound cartoon, you know, where you would, characters would be trying to get a, a plate of, or a pie off a windowsill, and there's a dog in the yard, one of those cartoons. I mean, how many have been made? A lot, right? So we just twisted it and, uh, and made it a plate of hog jowls. And uh, there's a baboon in the yard. And by the way, I did the voice of the baboon, I animated the baboon, and, um, yeah, so it's that's a special cartoon to me. I like that one. It was, it was definitely really inventive. Yeah, and at the end of it, uh, Ren has a puppet, a, the, the old puppet gag where you try to use a puppet to fool another character, and uh, the baboon falls in love with the baboon puppet and actually marries the puppet, and they have, he has the baboon has a honeymoon with with Ren's hand wearing the puppet in his doghouse. <laughs> Just uh, I can't. Even. That's just that's too much for me. Yeah. Now, uh, what what have you been up to lately? Uh, doing a lot of freelance. I worked on the Peanuts movie. I worked on the SpongeBob movie. I did a couple of storyboards on the SpongeBob series. I've been working on a new show called uh, Mighty Magiswords lately. But I'm I'm taking time off doing freelance or other people's projects so I can uh, focus on my own projects now. Now, is there a dream project that you have? Uh, yeah, I have I have a lot of them, but I can't. I'm not really. <laughs> yeah, you don't want somebody to take them, right? And I'd have to kill you, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and everybody who watches this, and it gets messy, and That's you know, and then you have to pay idea. pay the hitmen, and you know, and they're unionized now, and if you, if it takes longer to kill them than normal, you got to give them double golden overtime and stuff like that, you know. So screw it. Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> now, I know there was like a new Ren and Stimpy. I guess you didn't have much to do with that The adult one. party? I wasn't invited to that party. That's... John Kay, what's wrong with you, man? I'm just... Okay. How long have we got? <laughs> anyway, uh, now, uh, I guess, uh, is there anything that you'd like to say to your fans? Uh, you know what? Uh, keep the love alive. If you love the show, tell your friends about it, share it. Uh, and please try to stay positive and uh, keep humor in your life. Be kind to people and teach your children to tell the truth. Uh, honesty is the key. I think everything that's wrong in the world these days is because of greed and honesty. I teach uh, storyboarding at the School of Visual Arts and I pound constantly into my students' heads the idea that as artists they must always be honest and their, their art should come from the heart and be honest and true and to uh, protect their brother and sister artists. You know, that's my message. Wow. That's really good. Thank you so much, man. A lot, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye.